Hello, welcome to this exciting video in which we are going to announce the first ever eVTOL design competition that you can take part in. The rules are simple. Everyone can participate and can send their design. The design, however, needs to meet certain requirements that will be listed shortly. For example, the eVTOL should be able to cover at least 100 kilometers on battery with two people on board. Based on the performance of your design that we will evaluate and other parameters such as practicality, novelty, and safety, you will get points. The winner gets a cash prize of $300. The runner-up will get $200, while the design making it to the third place will receive $100. This is no way a life-changing amount of money. It's just a token of appreciation for your effort. We will also display the top three designs in a video when the competition ends subject to the approval from the winners. You do not have to send us CAD drawings. A design drawn on paper will suffice. This is the first ever design competition of its kind. So to participate and to learn the requirements of the challenge, I do encourage you to watch this video till the end because we will not only tell you the criterion that you have to meet, but also provide you with the tools like simple equations that you can use to meet the design parameters. Your aircraft would have to meet the following 10 requirements. Number one, it should have a unique name. Number two, the aircraft should have enough battery energy to vertically take off for 20 seconds, cruise to at least 100 kilometers distance, and land vertically in 20 seconds. Number three, the aircraft battery should have at least 30 minutes of reserve energy. Number four, the aircraft should have a payload capacity of 176 kilograms. The avionics weight of 15 kilograms should also be accounted. Number five, the maximum takeoff weight of the aircraft should not be more than 450 kilograms. The sixth requirement is that the aircraft should use the motor propellers or EDFs from the list that is provided. Number seven, the battery pack weight cannot be more than 150 kilograms. The battery energy density at cell level will be 250 watt hour per kilogram and 180 watt hour per kilogram at pack level. Number eight, the designed fuselage should have enough space to accommodate two seats weighing 15 kilograms each. The dimensions of a single seat are 1.4 meters in height, 0.75 meters in width, and 0.5 meters in length. Number nine, the aircraft battery should not exceed a power limit of one kilowatt per kilogram at cell level. Number 10, the aircraft would have a maximum stall speed of 40 miles per hour, which equates to 65 kilometers per hour. So these are the 10 requirements that you have to meet. For guidance, information on the percentage of battery energy available for each segment of the flight for example, cruise, hover, and reserve, can be accessed through the link in the description section. Please check the battery energy fraction tab. Some of the requirements are very easy, like giving your aircraft a cool, unique name. For example, the Falcon EA-1, etc. Don't be discouraged regarding the other requirements because we are going to explain exactly how to meet them using simple calculations in a follow-up video. You can choose any of the existing design types such as tilt wings, tilt rotor, or even tilt body, like the opener's black fly. Likewise, you can use box wings, tandem wings, and conventional wings. You can even explore the lift plus cruise configuration. While you are free to use the multi-copter design, it won't give you the 100 kilometer range you need to meet this challenge. Because this is the first time this challenge has been launched, we have simplified it by providing you the tables with values of parameters like the propulsive efficiency, the L by D ratio, and augmented lift coefficient. The range equation and the stall speed equation that will be helpful in checking if your design meets the requirements can be found in the documents with the link in the description box. What you need to send us is the following. Number one, the aircraft design drawings. Number two, the area of the wing, number three, the weight of the airframe, number four, the selection of motor and propellers, please select it from the list provided, and number five, the weight of the battery pack. You can send your design to skywardselectric at gmail.com. 
The competition ends on the 15th of May, after which all the designs will be judged and the results will be announced. You can enter the competition individually or as a team. For further information, we will be shortly releasing another video that will also guide you step by step in designing an EV tool from scratch, which meets all the requirements for the challenge. So watch this space. For any queries, please use the comment section. And finally, by the virtue of authority vested upon me, I hereby declare the first ever EV tool design challenge by Electric Aviation now open. Good luck to you all.